What's up, what's... What's up everyone, it's Brennan Donnelly, I am back. Um, I know you thought you'd probably never see me again. Took a little break for, um, we'll call it winter vacation on this channel. So, uh, today's Super Bowl Saturday. There's a big game tomorrow in America, we call it the Super Bowl. Two best teams in football are facing off the Eagles and the Patriots. Follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I didn't pick either of the teams correctly. Um, I had the Vikings and the Jaguars. The Jaguars were close, but the Vikings were not. I don't think anyone really predicted that the that the um, Vikings defense wouldn't be able to hold up against Nick Foles, you know. And that's really, really crazy to me how they allowed, I think it was 10 points? Uh, we'll double check on that, we'll fact check that. But it was really a tough uh, prediction season as far as Pete on TV goes. And um, although I didn't have very good picks, I did have a pretty good fantasy football season. And my first fantasy football season, actually. So after this Super Bowl, I'd love you guys to comment down below sports you want me to cover. Um, we're definitely going to try and get into hockey, basketball, um, baseball when baseball season comes around. Those are like and definitely uh, world soccer as that starts to wrap up toward the summer. And after football, before I start talking about the Super Bowl, I just want to say um, I want to hit you guys with some Olympic predictions. I love the Olympics, winter and summer. Um, the Winter Olympics are going to be fun this year. Comment, God, I think I already said that. Comment down below what sports you want to see. Um, I'll probably cover like ice skating, snowboarding, uh, skiing, um, hockey definitely, uh, figure skating and speed skating, maybe long jump. I love to just, love to just sit in front of the TV, you know, and watch some, uh, some Winter Olympics. So the Patriots are back in it again, the big game, and tomorrow's when they start. So this is your kind of last minute not last minute, but late Super Bowl prediction. Um, so this one I'm going with the Patriots. I, I really don't think the difference between Nick Foles and Carson Wentz is even enough to put them over the Patriots. I mean, they, they can do everything. Bill Belichick is top two football coaches of all time, him and Nick Saban or Bear Bryant or whoever you want to put in that category. Um, but the thing he's got going in New England is unrivaled by any coach that's ever coached uh, football ever. One, I think the play call is going to be very important against a uh, really good Eagles defense. And uh, they've got weapons on all sides of the ball, but it's not like they have really superstars. It's really a team effort from the from the Eagles. But I feel like there's little slip-ups that uh, Belichick's going to try and exploit. And I would say right now, final score for me, my prediction is 24-20 Patriots. Definitely going to be a close game because you know the Eagles have been doing that all season. Uh, they have the best record in the NFL, um, pay, but the Patriots have just so many weapons. And, you know, next man up mental mentality, you know. It's Rob Gronkowski, Danny Amendola, um, Chris Hogan, James White, um, what's his name? Rex, oh, shit. This is the B, Rex Burkhead. They got so many weapons, and I really think they're going to pull, pull one out, pull a big W out for Tom Brady's, what, sixth Super Bowl ring? That's that's crazy. He's 40 years old and he's gonna win six or 41, and he's in his 40s and he's gonna win a six Super Bowl. Right? We've just never seen any quarterback in football do that ever. I just can't hold him on, on to my pen today. So, anyways, give me the Patriots, even though they have not the best pass defense. We're gonna give them the the win. Um, I'm gonna say a halftime score. We're gonna say 10 to 10. 10 to 10 at halftime, 24, no. Yeah, 10 to 10 at halftime, 24, 20 final score for the Patriots. Uh, it's gonna be a close game all throughout. Um, turnover is gonna be very, 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 very big. You can't have Nick Foles throwing bombs that are gonna get intercepted down the field. You gotta, Doug Peterson's gonna have to do a really good job if um, he wants to coach the Eagles to victory. So good luck to fans of both teams. Um, Good for Tom Brady, I mean, it's pretty good. A lot of Super Bowls, appearances and wins. And uh, 
good for Bill Belichick. We're only gonna be able to see this for a few more years, so we gotta embrace it while it lasts, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. Um, you know, winter break, school, uh, practice, those are big contributing factors. But anyways, uh, we'll see you guys after the Super Bowl. We will see you guys for the Winter Olympics, and we'll see you guys for basketball and hockey and soccer later in the season. Thank you for watching. Comment down below your Super Bowl predictions. I'll tell you why you're right or why you're wrong, and we will see you when I just said we'll see you previously.